You gotta do what you gotta do in New York. You know what I'm saying? Make it happen. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do wherever the fuck you at. You know what I'm saying? I just been, my mind has been thinking so clearly about what I need to be doing with my music. Like, I'm ever so focused right now on what I need to be in it, on the direction that I need to be going with my music. And basically, what I'm doing is, I need to just be put more of the information that I know into my music, because I've been holding back a lot. And the reason I've been holding back a lot is just simply because I don't want to turn off a lot of my fans, man. My fans on the street, my fans in the hood. And I gotta have the right approach with the shit that I'm trying to say, you know what I'm saying? I don't want niggas to look at me like, like I got love for KRS, Mo Def, all the conscious rappers, but I don't want niggas looking at me like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas in the hood really don't respect these niggas. You know what I'm saying? They, they dig what they doing and shit, like, Niggas look up to most death, man, as far as what he doing with his career and his, his movies and his music. But as far as on some hood shit, niggas ain't respecting these dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas got respect for Karis, one, and all that, but to tell you the truth, man, niggas ain't buying that shit no more, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, truthfully, you go to any hood and ask, ask them when's the last Karis one album they bought. Ask them when's the last most death album they bought, you know what I mean? Any these conscious rap is common. Talib Kweli, anybody that you would consider a conscious rapper or whatever. And conscious means that you're conscious of what's going on in this world. You're fully aware and awake to what's going on in this world. That's what conscious rap means. You know what I mean? So if you got conscious rap, that means you got unconscious rap. That means you got motherfuckers that's unconscious rapping. That means they sleeping. They, they still under a spell, a Leviathan. They still under the spell of Kingu. You know what I'm saying? So they unconscious. So basically, I'm a conscious rapper because I'm wide the fuck awake. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what the fuck is going on. And I've been like that since 96. The first time you ever heard me say Illuminati on my mind, soul, and my body, you knew P was on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? I've been on some other shit. But I ain't wanna go too far with it because I ain't wanna turn off my fan base, man. My fan base is the hood. I got the front line. I got the projects across America and across the globe. There's hoods in London, there's hoods in Germany, there's hoods everywhere that respect and love what I do and what Mob Deep do, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't wanna turn off those fans, man. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of those fans are unconscious. They sleep still, they don't know what's going on. A lot of them are conscious. So, I had to mix the medicine with the food. That's what me and Hav always say. You gotta mix the medicine with the food. So they eating the food and they don't even know they getting some medicine in there. And that's what I've been doing. Like the, like the uh, I Shot the Song with LL, uh, Keith Murray, and uh, Foxy Brown, Fat Joe, and everybody that I did. That's what I said. That's the first time I said Illuminati with my mind, soul, and my body. You know what I'm saying? That was mixing medicine with the food. Because if you listen to the rest of that rap, I ain't speak any further on it. You know what I'm saying? All I said was Illuminati with my mind, soul, and my body. And basically, um, I just kept it moving. I just threw that in there. I mixed the medicine with the food. So now, that I took this case and I took this plea bargain and all I got to do is three and a half years. It's just making me so focused on what I need to be doing with my music and my, my life and my career. I'm at the point now where I'm saying, I'm tired of mixing the medicine with the food. I'm tired of playing that game. Now I'm shoving straight medicine down your fucking throat, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Straight doses of medicine is getting shoved down your throat. I don't, I don't give a fuck if it turns you off or not. Because if it do turn you off, then you're a stupid, ignorant motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? If you turned off for somebody telling you some real shit. And if it's coming from P, that's how you know it's some real shit, nigga. Like, I ain't on no bullshit. Ain't never once that I put out a song or say something out of my mouth that was some bullshit. You can't name one time. You can't name one moment in time well, I put out some bullshit. I always got something deep to say. Every time around, on a Blood Money album, America's Nightmare, uh, Free Agents, take it back as far as you wanna go, take it ahead as far as you wanna go. I don't give a fuck. Basically, P always dropping some shit. So if you're not feeling what P saying, then nigga, you just an ignorant motherfucker. Straight up and down. That's how I'm looking at it now. You know what I'm saying? If you, you can't feel me, then you're not feeling me. You, 
Right now it's time to pick a side, nigga. It's 2000, it's about to be 2008. It's time to choose a side. You either positive or you negative. You either evil or you good. You understand what I'm saying? Choose a side, nigga. I know what side I'm on. I'm a positive motherfucker. I deal with nothing but positive energy and good energy and, and good motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not evil. I'm not negative. Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? You might hear some negativity in my songs, but that's because I know how to balance my negativity and my positivity because negative is a natural force of the universe. And evil is a natural is a natural force in the universe also. It's like the yin and the yang. You gotta learn how to balance both of them. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to have that balance. You know what I'm saying? But the positive always gotta overcome the negative, you know what I'm saying? But you still gotta have that balance and have that little bit of negativity in you because sometimes it call for that. It's called self-defense, you understand what I'm saying? If you don't got no negativity in you, then you can't defend yourself properly. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's what I mean when I say you gotta have a balance, a positive and negative. You gotta learn how to balance it out. But for positive people, there has to be more positive than negative, straight up and down. Even when you're doing some negative, like when you gotta shoot somebody to protect yourself, you have to do it with a positive state of mind. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're doing it to protect what's positive. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it sounds crazy, but I know you motherfuckers understand what I'm saying, so I ain't really even gotta explain myself any further. You understand what I'm saying? So, basically, that's what I'm all about. I'm all about positivity, I'm all about being a good person, and. I don't want no negative, negative shit in my life, man. It's over for that. I did that back when I was young. I did a lot of dumb shit. And now that's over, man. It's over for me. I'm married. I got a family. You know what I mean? I got a solo career. I own my own label now. You know what I'm saying? Plus, we got Mob Deep on G-Unit. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm good, man. I'm set for life, man. And anybody that want to hate on me, you just got to deal with the consequences if you try to do some dumb shit. You know what I mean? So, where I'm going with my career right now, I'm just expressing myself even more now. And I'm not scared to express myself now. Because before I was kind of leery. I ain't want to lose fans. I ain't want fans to be like, oh, P on some carers, one trying to be a teacher. Oh, P trying to teach teach the world. He, P trying to say, like, like for example, in the song Stunt 101 with um, Banks and 50. Banks said, and, and Buck, Banks said a line where he was like, Yo, I ain't trying to teach the world. Just roll up a blunt. Come with me out front. I'll teach you how to stunt. You understand know what I'm saying? So, when he said that line is rhyme, I was like, he ain't trying to change the world. Just roll up a blunt. I see what he was trying to say. You know what I'm saying? He ain't trying to, like, in his rhymes, he ain't trying to be, like, to save the world conscious rapper. That's cool. You know what I mean? He could do that. And, I, and when I heard that, I understood what he was saying, cause I, I kind of felt that way at the time, man. I ain't want people, I ain't want, like I said, I ain't want to turn off my fans. I ain't want people to be like, oh, uh, pee on some teach the world shit, trying to save the world. But that was back then. This is now. This is 2007, 2008, 2009, 10, 11, all that shit, nigga. I'm on some new shit. Now I don't give a fuck how you feel. Now I'm just really expressing myself to the fullest. I'm a changed person, man. I changed back in 2000, man. Earlier than that. But I really made my transition back in 2000, man. You know what I'm saying? And it was hard for me to let my fans in the world know what time it is, man. But that's I'm letting you know right now. That's what time it is, man. You're going to start hearing more shit in my rounds about the government, politics, about crooked motherfuckers in this world. And I'm exposing everybody. I don't give a fuck no more. Basically, because these crooked ass cops lied on the stand, tried to set 50 up, because some cops lied on me. So I'm tired of it, man. So when I'm on the radio and I say, yo, they turning me into Malcolm X right now, that's what I'm talking about, man. And my niggas on the street, they already agree with me. Havoc already agree with me. Alchemist already agree with me. All my niggas in Far Rock, all my niggas in Queensbridge, Twin, Golf Harbor, all of them know what time it is already. They, they grew with me. As I was learning, I was teaching them. Trust me. So my niggas know what time it is. And I'm talking about niggas on the street. The grimiest niggas that still drink 40 ounces every day, still smoke weed. They be like, yo, P, you need to rhyme like that, son. Rhyme like that more about the Illuminati and the government, about all that real shit about health. And yo, son, we need that in the hood. Come on, son. P, rhyme like that more, son. We need that in the hood. Yo, they've been telling me that since 97, son.
You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about my real hood niggas. Niggas that got bodies. Niggas that run around selling drugs still. Niggas that's doing ill shit. These niggas, I be informing them about the shit that I know, little by little, you know what I'm saying? If I learn something new, I call my niggas be like, yo, son, check that. Check out what I just found out. Boom, 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 boom. And they be like, word, that's deep, son. They be like, yo, I love talking to you, P. You always be on some deep shit, yo. I, I want to learn more about that. You know what I'm saying? The grimiest niggas, son. I'm trying to tell you. So, all my niggas on the street already know my mentality. You understand what I'm saying? The only people that don't know is the public. It's you. The only people that don't know is my fans. And they know a little bit, but they really don't know how I get down. Nigga, I am new Malcolm X. And there's plenty of more of them out there. I ain't the only one. You know what I'm saying? I am the new Dr. York. You know what I'm saying? Doc taught me everything that I know. Malcolm taught me everything I know. You know what I'm saying? All these black leaders that they murdered and killed, assassinated their character, I learned from them. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. You know what I'm saying? I am that new motherfucker. And like I said, I ain't nobody special. There's other niggas out there like that too. But I'm just bringing it to the forefront and I'm making it happen now. And I'm a powerful nigga because I got millions of fans with Mob Deep and Prodigy. You know what I'm saying? So. Come on, man. I'm using that power. Pac was a powerful nigga, too. Pac knew about all that shit. Why you think they murdered that nigga? It wasn't no rat war. It wasn't because he jumped and he jumped that nigga Orlando. No, 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 no. That's a motherfucking lie. The government killed Pac. The feds had something to do with it. They set that nigga up. And they, and they had something to do with Biggie getting killed, too. And then they tried to make it look like a rat war. Yo, yo, if Pac was still alive, we would be on the same team. Why you think I said that in my rhyme on the return of the Mac? If Pac was still alive, we'd be on the same team. We got bigger fish to fry than that nigga Supreme. And when the bigger fish I'm talking about is this motherfucking government. This corrupt ass system and these motherfucking cops. Like, like fuck beefing with Supreme. Like, nigga, like, and whoever... Uh, and the niggas that set Pac up, I ain't even gonna say no names. They know who they are. The niggas that set Pac up in Quad Studio and had them shot. Yo, basically what I'm trying to say is, fuck beefing with all these street niggas. Hey, yo, we need to get together and fucking go at the, the government, son. The military. All these motherfuckers that, that's corrupting our minds, our brains. The Food and Drug Administration, Hollywood, um, you name it. Healthcare, uh... Uh, everything, everything is connected, it's all crooked, they got this whole world fucked up, they got our minds fucked up, and that's what I meant when I said me and Pac would be on the same team, because E-Money Bags and Majesty was, was Pac's homies, Stretch, Stretch, Majesty's brother, they got killed in Hollis, in his car. Who you think he used to run with all the time? The nigga was in mad movies with Pac, like, and I ain't realized that until me and Bags started getting mad cooler. When me and Bag started really, really getting cool and started really getting tight with each other, these niggas started telling me mad shit about, yo, Pac was our people. He used to be with us every I was like, word? And Bags was the first nigga to tell me, yo, Pac was still alive. Y'all niggas would be down together because I would've squashed all it. Bags told me himself, y'all would've, and Madge. Bags was, and Madge was like, yo, I would've squashed that beef with y'all niggas and y'all niggas would've been down with each other, yo. Because both of y'all niggas had the same mind state. We both on some motherfucking fuck that, you know what I'm saying, political shit. Like, we not having it, you know what I'm saying? We on some rebel shit. Pac was raised by the Black Panthers. Man, I got so much shit to say, man. I so much shit on my mind, I'ma just let it out. Like, for example, why are they making all these movies right now about snitches? American Gangster, Frank Lucas, he's a fucking snitch. Um, what's up, a nigga? Uh, uh, Nicky Barnes, he's a fucking snitch. Why are they making movies about snitches? Why there's no movie about Wayne Perry in DC? Why there's no movie about Atulu Shakur and all these motherfucking niggas that's locked up doing life? You know what I'm saying? Because they on some real rebel political shit. Why there ain't no movies about these niggas? You know what I'm saying? The only movies that you see made is like about snitch ass niggas, man. They promoting snitching. Hey yo, my man Eddie from um, Branson, you know what I'm saying? The buzz spot uptown. That nigga gave me a book back in the days that was called Snitch Culture. And how, and how America and the powers that be are promoting snitching. They want niggas to snitch on each other. They want people in the streets to call certain, if you see somebody that looks suspicious, look like a terrorist, call this number, blah, 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 blah. 
They want you to snitch. They raising snitches right now in the millennium. They raising a bunch of snitches. And that's not how it go. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck snitching. We got other things to worry about. Let's snitch. Ah, right, you want to snitch? Let's snitch. Like, right now, I'm snitching on the government. I'm letting them. I'm snitching on the Illuminati. I'm snitching on the military. I'm snitching on the fucking religion. I'm snitching on some real shit. I ain't snitching on my, my brothers in the street. You know what I'm saying? You don't snitch on your brothers in the street. You snitch on niggas like the government. And you let the world know, yo, these niggas is corrupt. These niggas doing foul shit. And you show the facts. And you show why and how it's all going down. And that's a real snitch. Because you snitching to your brothers about the government. You're not snitching to the government about your brothers. Mmm. You understand what I'm saying? Peep that. That's some game for your ass, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight like that, man. Come on, man. I, I would never tell on no nigga on the street and get a nigga locked up. Never. Ever. I don't give a fuck. Shit. Like, pee on some new shit, nigga. This is, I'm starting a trend. Anybody that you see that's on the shit that pee's on, you, you got it from pee. And that's a good thing. It's not bad that, that you that you biting off pee and that you want some no jury, no rims. That's good. I want you to get on that. But I just also want you to know where you got it from. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people still out there, still my ideas and like to run with it like it's their own. So I just want to be clear on that real quick. Just know where you got it from and acknowledge where you got it from. If you want, if you want to get on the same shit that I'm on now, I want you to get on the radio and wherever you promoting it at, and I want you to say, yeah. My nigga P got me on this shit, you know what I'm saying? I heard him say it first. Because I ain't got no problem with saying, yeah, Dr. York, Malcolm X, and the rest of our black leaders got me on it. Got me the way I am now. And I got it from them. So you should do the same thing. If you, if you want to follow what P's doing, just acknowledge where you got it from. That's all I'm trying to say right now. I had to throw that in there real quick. Anyway, they raising a bunch of fucking snitches. They making movies about snitches. Alpo movie. Alpo's a snitch. So I have no fear in losing anything. You know what I'm saying? I got sick of cell, and people with sick of cell have a short lifespan. So I'm not, I have no fear in losing my life. You understand what I'm saying? So you want to assassinate me? You want to assassinate my character? You want to do whatever you want to do? Nigga, do it, nigga. I dare you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? My army is strong in the street. And nigga, I ain't Dr. York, nigga. I got niggas that will go buck stupid. You try to lock me up for 135 years. Watch what the fuck happen. You try to do that to a nigga like Pete, nigga. Watch what happen, man. Shout out to uh, Tulis Shakur. Pardon me if I ain't saying your name right, but you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Shout out to all y'all niggas locked up. Shout out to Wayne Perry. They need to make a movie about you, nigga. And they need to make a movie about niggas just like you, man. And stop making a movie about these fucking snitches. And, and you need niggas like me to do the soundtrack. And I'll get deeper into the subject as we going but you know I got so much shit on my mind and there's so much information that sometimes when I start talking I go off the subject of where I started from you know what I'm saying so bear with me and just understand that by the time I'm finished you will understand everything that I'm saying and you will understand what the fuck is going on in this world I'm a teacher to you and nigga if you don't understand it then you just an ignorant um um, sleepy in a spell motherfucker, yo. You sleep. You fast asleep still, nigga. If you don't understand what peace saying. You understand what I'm saying? Because I got niggas, man, man, everybody agree with me in the hood. You know what I'm saying? So, I know what I'm saying is right. And I got facts to back it up. And I got all kinds of shit to back it up. You know what I mean? And anybody who don't support Doc, and whoever don't support the movement that Prodigy's on, then fuck you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And, and straight like that, I hope, I wish nothing but good and success for you, son. You know what I'm saying? Because straight like that, man. If you ain't supporting me, then you're not supporting your own people and you don't give a fuck about yourself. Because all I'm talking about is something positive, something good, how to fucking teach the kids. You know what I mean? Straight like that, I'm on some real bullshit, nigga. I'm on, I'm on my shit, nigga. How I should have been back in the early 90s. But it's never too late. And I guess... Back then, I couldn't articulate myself the right way. You know what I'm saying? But now I can. It's a whole different world right now. You know what I'm saying? And now I can articulate myself the right way so people can understand what the fuck I'm saying. I wasn't ready for it back then. Now I am ready. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to explain everything. Now I can explain everything the right way and where you can research the facts yourself. You know
You don't, don't believe what I'm saying. That's what I learned from Dr. York. He always said that. Don't believe me. Go out there and research the facts yourself. And you'll see what I'm saying is nothing but righteous shit. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? I don't got time to be spreading lies. I ain't got time for lies. I'm building an army, nigga. I got an army in the street. You want to join my army? Everybody's welcome. I don't give a fuck what color you are, what culture you from, what religion you believe in. It ain't about that. It's all about you a positive or negative person, son. You know what I'm saying? And we'll get to the rest later. You understand what I'm saying?